Good morning, everyone. It's Rita here. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, today is Junket July, a challenge uh, with Tatted Treasures. Um, I did one last week. I only got one thing done, but evidently we only need to get four done through the whole month, so I'll be okay there. But um, I was getting my little, um, not so little, big journal ready for um, Etsy. And I, I remembered that I do have to put some journal cards in there. So I thought I might as well just use some scraps since it's uh, junk mail. I had some other things I wanted to use, like I got this bag at Chick-fil-A. And, um, you know, I'm gonna, I thought I could use that up somehow. But so then I'm looking through these. Now I need to make one to go in this envelope here, right here. And I need one to go into these two pockets. And I, I you know, I would like these to be the same size. So um, I pulled out two cards that are the same size. And they're just so sturdy, you know, that um, they're gonna hold up really well. All right, so I think, let me just use one. I Thick. Well, I might have to cut it off a little bit because I was thinking they both would fit. All right, so let me just cut this one here to give us an idea. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut it there and I'll set this one right there on top so I can cut both of them. I was getting ready to put things away um, so I could start something new. Okay, that's the problem with the pan on uh, paper that's, let me go down a little bit more. Well, that wasn't even straight. All right. I guess um, two of them at the same time is not a good idea with this thick card. Okay, just set side up. All right. So we have two cards there. This one I thought I might use inside the book. This one was cute because it is uh, perforated right there. So I thought that would be cute. You could rip it off, but I'm not sure what I would do with it um, at this point for this journal. I might be able to use it for a different journal. And then the same with these, I pulled all these out. Yeah, this makes a nice brochure, but I think it might be too big for a journal. And envelopes, and then there's some scratch paper. Okay, so what I what I plan to do is simply collage this these two cards. All right, so uh, glue stick. Where are you? Oh, I remember it. It went out. Hold on. To get order these again. These are kind of expensive. I think it's I want to say twelve dollars for is it for four or six? I think four. So I I think that's sort of expensive. But. All right, so let's just rip this here. Doesn't have to be. Let's see if I. I thought I just, you know, randomly put some papers. 
I don't want to take all day doing this. I have other things to do. I better use a ruler. So today is Mon yeah, it is Monday. I can't remember exactly what day it is. I've got a few things to do. As always, think you know, I don't have anything to do and then things come to mind. Okay, so I just rip this up a little. I don't think I'll ink them. Well, that one I might because it's, um, it's got white. I'll give it a little bit of extra. Whoops. Back there. Um, So perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I can find to put underneath there. So I have, um, I think I mentioned to you about um, this lady that lives in California and she had subscribed to my channel and I went and to see how her channel looked and I thought she's just adorable. Um, and so actually she bought one of my digital kits and um, the French ephemera. Oops, maybe that's how I found her. I, I think she subscribed, yeah. I hope, I hope she did. Anyway, um, so she's been uh, texting back and forth, and she said she wanted to tell everybody on her video about my digital printout. So we kind of talked back and forth, and I was telling her about the pink lady, because her last name is Reyes. Now, I don't know... The pink lady was De Los Reyes, so I don't know if they're the same, if that's the same name or, you know, sometimes people shorten their names, but then again, somebody may just have the name Ray, uh, Reyes. So, um, I'll put the sheet down first. What were I going to say? Okay, so she wanted to give me a shout out. So, and I told you about her the other day, and I didn't know her name. And it is. Hold on. I feel like I'm doing this, and then I'm forgetting what I did, how I had it laid. I don't know. It's so hard. <laughs> it's hard for me to remember. And she has a terrible time with her memory, too. We were talking about that. And um, she is uh, My Paper Journey. Okay, hold on. Probably don't need to organize this. We just need to put it down. So her, um, my paper journey is her, oh, MJ Reyes is her YouTube. And she's the one that said to watch her till the very end because there might be a surprise. <laughs> and I thought that was cute. I think I'm gonna go up a little more, a little more of that other showing. really 
really need to put anything up there, but I kind of like to balance a little. Maybe I'll put on this side. I'm not making anything that um, Tanya made. because we all have different scraps and different ideas what we need to do with them. I mean, I kind of like to make things for something I'm going to do. You know what I mean? Like, um, the last Monday I did something for the Edith Holden because I needed a tag for that. And then this... This Monday, I'm doing a couple things for the Pink Lady Journal to finish. I feel like I've gone crooked there, and I have. Hmm. I've been so tired because I'm just not sleeping good at night and I don't know what brought this on. I mean, it's not like a new medication or, or anything. Just came on. All right. Okay, dokie. So now, let's just find something. Okay, so we're gonna put this one on this side. See, that looks pretty. And uh, we'll make another one for the other side. So let's see, that would be this one. And I will, let's see how much of those papers do I have left? kind of wanted to make them work together. We have this scrap piece here. I'm just going to take this part off. You know, I could use that for the back. Can I? No, it's too small. Well, I'll save that for backs of other things. All right, so. Let's glue that one on. I'm not gonna worry about it so much this time, I think. I'm just gonna, here, let, let me get it. Maybe I'll go down the middle on this one. My granddaughter, um, Maddie, Madeline, she's my oldest granddaughter, and she just finished college this year, and she's now has a job in Utah, and um, she's moving there for good. Well, not for good. She said she... She's going to give this job a try. I guess I didn't need to rip that. I could have you know, cut it anyway. I'm going to ink a little bit just to give it a little more definition. So, you know, she said she won't be able to come back for at least a year. And then, but the job she got, it, it's a software company. They make software. I can't remember for what. But she gets four weeks paid vacation. 
the first year. She gets um, a $2,000 allowance for your vacation. So in other words, she said if she wants to, they won't pay for food and, you know, that kind of stuff, but they pay for your attraction uh, to get into, um, like, Disneyland, if you go to Disneyland, or, um, I already got those. Oh, God, let's see, what else can I find that's, I have this green, but I don't know what, I guess I need maybe that color green in it, though, huh? There we go. So, you know, with that um, incentive, I was shocked, really. Back in my day, they didn't do anything like that. I don't think. Never heard of it. Our, our, the company my husband worked for, though, we, we traveled a lot. But it was all um, for, I'm going to take that upside down word off. <laughs> we traveled um, all over the place. Um, we would take um, people on trips every year. And so as an, my husband's... Um, job really was to entertain these people on these trips. Oops, I hope that's going to be over enough. And my, uh, and my, me too, I had to, um, you know, socialize with them and that kind of thing, which was not my really favorite. I mean, I didn't mind it, but you had to be very careful what you say. Oh, here, this is pretty. Oh, this was a piece of scrapbook paper. I was like, where did I get this? Oh my gosh, Rita. Did I cut it that... it was that skinny coming down. <laughs> Every little piece is not fitting. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's do this. I don't know. Let's just put it on there. That's straight on that side. Maybe it's better if I think ahead and, instead of just randomly putting stuff on. I think go that way. That fits in there a little better. to get done faster than like other people. It's like they do, you know, 20 of them in an hour's time. I hope that white is not too vivid. All right, one little tiny hunk up here. What do I have? Got a little pink in it.
I'm really not very good at collaging. I just, um, it just never looks right to me. because I want to hide that pencil mark that I had on there. All right, let me just throw these down here. Okay, doke. On the back, we'll just, I would just put coffee dye paper for journaling. And So if you're watching for the first time, or you're not a subscriber, when I get to 350 subscribers, I will have a giveaway, and it will be the Edith Holden journal that I made, uh, folio. So, you know, get in there and subscribe and make a comment. Okay, so those are pretty. Now, I think I'm just going to try and find some kind of large flower. Oops. Sorry for the noise. Like I said, I was trying to put things away. Um, I always love this flower. Blends in though, doesn't it? These are the Tim Holtz. I kind of like it. Let's see if I have any others I might like better. Hmm. I do kind of like that. I could do it that way or this way. And just put a label in there. Oop. Pink. I do like this spot of yellow. I, I, for some reason, I think yellow just kind of does a pop on you, you know, makes it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with these. I like this one. I think it's because it's got green on the back. Okay. And that kind of blends in, but let's see, what can I can't think about it too long. I was just thinking of adding something behind it. No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, book page, maybe. Let me ink around it. Maybe that's what it needs to set it off against the background. I was gonna order, it's called, uh, what's it called again? <laughs> Twigs, what is it? Um, Tim Holtz ink, some twigs. <clears throat> Isn't that, I just found it and I said, oh, okay, that's the name of it. And you know, I can't remember, but they didn't have any, not in stock. So I had to put it on my wish list, I guess it's called. Maybe then I'll get notified when it comes up. It's not a wish list. I forgot what they call it. All righty. So we'll put those there. And I'm going to try glue stick. Oh, there's like little places to punch out. Hmm. 
cute. glad I'm doing this because when I finish with the journal and I start putting all the stuff away I don't want to drag it all out again to do a couple journal cards or something I don't mind still having to sew them but to decorate all right so that one is there and I think I'm going to try to find labels to go up in that corner. So I'm going to put this down. So I kind of want this to be a flat surface because they're going to be riding on it on the other side. Okay. So, now we have two journal cards. All right, so, um, labels. Where are your labels? Oh, on the very bottom. Seem like I had some pink labels, but I don't know where they are. But I want to use something large enough. I want to use something. Hmm. No, this is going to be the challenge. Get one on that side, and then one on that side. I printed these and the paper is really, I, or maybe it printed in this yellow color. I don't know if I should make them the same on each side. Okay, getting closer to the bottom, so. Crazy, I can't find something that really. Uh -uh. That one's not too bad, but. Those are kind of pretty. Well, I thought maybe there would be another one similar to that. But I don't see one. Okay, this one here, this 
seems like it needs to be a little more. I have enough left in this brush to give it a little more. Not so white. I'll glue these on with this because they're cardstock. So those are for there. And I just um, a little, a little tight. <clears throat> I think <clears throat> I think I need to round the corners. But I think it'll look pretty once we get it sewn around as well. This one's not quite as stiff. But these um, advertisement things are so good for this kind of stuff. You just make so many. Um, you know, of all kinds. All right, so there's, I didn't ink it. Do I want to use pink? I'm just putting a light pink. If I get off of this brush. This pink uh, works nice on all the uh, pastel colors. It just doesn't really uh, work on, on dark colors. I mean, it just doesn't have show up. Okay, I may put more uh, cards in here. Okay, so now I have this one to do, which is also a junk mail and which one was it that fits this one is a little too big I think because so I'm not gonna make it a whole card I was gonna check and see if I had another one handy um, Is gonna make this that trifold you know, something to put in the journal like another journal all right I think it needs to be cut down just
Okay. So this one needs to be covered. And I'm not going to waste a lot of time to do this. So, um, that dark green is really pretty though. I'm going to use this on here and this. I just want to put her in the journal. So does she look better on this side or this side? I think she pops on this side. But I like the dark green side too. So this one should be very quick. I enjoy doing these kind of things, you know, with um, the challenges. I didn't really think that I would. And I think some are, you know, a lot harder than others. And some, everybody's doing it. So I don't feel like this one is one that, um, you know, Roxy Creations or Gail or even Tatty Treasures, she does theirs too. And, or, and Crafty Cats, I think she does all the journal uh, challenges, all the little challenges. So I kind of felt like um, Tatty Treasures just has her a new little little bits of stuff to do, like her little weekenders. She's got another one coming up. I don't know if I can keep up with her. I really don't. I don't know where that lady gets the time. Oh, I've got to cut that just to make it straight. Hmm. It should be straight. All right, I'm going to use this. Here was a, a box of uh, note cards that I got, oh my gosh, years ago. And so when I saw her, I just thought I wanted to um, use that picture in this journal, but I could not find a place to put her. So now I've got a place. And for the bone folder, and that's the one I just laid down. Okay, I think I will ink this in this too. think whose digital this is from uh, I think it's from the journal boat one of the other digitals that hope it fits in there Okay, um, 
feel like I need to trim this a little closer. She's, I think she's going to be hard to get in. No, maybe not. All right. So we're going to put her here. Maybe I can put something up there, some kind of label or something. Yeah, she fits in there fine. All right. So I was thinking about putting a tap up here uh, to help pull her out, but um, I need a tap right here. Okay. Uh, tabs. here too that are pink. Nah, that's too. Kind of like to find something vintage pink. to Diane I have all these that would look cute but no um, This one, it's that looks good with it, but I think this is just more romantic looking. So I can't do this until I get my backing sewed. All right, so let me put a paper clip here. Actually, I think I can. Well, if I move that paper clip, it takes me forever to find the page I'm working on. All right. Now, Oh, I did figure out how to get these stickers loose. I was struggling with it. And
Yeah, they don't have something that kind of goes with each other. So when you take this out, then you have just that sitting up there, which is kind of pretty. But I don't know that I like that covered. So let's go with, I like the way that it's curved that way. So I'm going to see if I have another Tim Holtz that... that up there. I'm just going to kind of wished I had like this little flower but in a different color. Oh my goodness. Oh. It's, it's been raining every day. I don't know if it's, yeah, it's overcast today but I don't know that it's going to rain. Okay, so um, let me glue this on. I'm just going to put it right there. This one has a whole bunch of pokies in it, too. Someday I'd like to make a journal with the Tim Holtz people. I've had him, I've had those people for so long. I mean, I use them every once in a while, but not like some people use them. Okay. I think that's pretty. Again, I wished... could have found something to go with her. I wanted uh, like this to go with her on the other page, on the other side. I just thought this was so cute with the black, but it just didn't work. So, all right, now here. I wonder if I just have a pink. Oh, you know, well, see, I gotta make it flat to be flat. I can't believe my time is up. Um, I guess I'm just really, really slow with this. Well, I'm not going to put anything on it right now. Um, because I want to move on for a minute. Okay. My time is up, but I still have a little time. Just, yeah, that's going to be cute. Oh, I love this journal. It is so pretty. Okay. Let's close her up. And then I'll do all the rest of the sewing 
And I've got to get her ready for Etsy. I haven't taken pictures yet. Um, I put several charms. They're here somewhere. Um, where is the other charms? The one's up here. I don't know. They're in here somewhere. Oh, one's right here. Okay, so um, let me show you what I want to do for the next, my next journal project. Um, let me just put this away real quick. Okay. In the room here. Not like I need a lot of room, but... Okay, so I'm not sure about this, but um, I want to make um, an altar book. I have done an altar book twice. Um, the first one I did did not come out that great. The second one I did, um, I did better because I was, it was, pretty much all about the gluing. Now, this book here, I got at a thrift store and it had 426 pages. So what I have done so far is taken out, so let me, let me get this straight. I mean, I know that most of you have already watched people do these journals. So basically, it's one page, then you tear out however many you want to tear out. So it could be eight, ten, six. It kind of depends on how many pages in your book. It also depends on how many pages you want to decorate because it can be um, quite a few pages. So I didn't do any of the folding, uh, you know, folding the pages. I'll do that uh, in a video. But I did mark them all so it I have all the pages like that. What I do too, if anyone wants to do this, I start in the front, maybe do like 10, eight, nine, 10, and then I go and do the back. And at the same time, I turn the book over, whichever way I can tear the pages out easily. Because otherwise, I feel like, I don't know if you can see this, but see this little binding, part right here is sort of looking the same size. Um, I've done them before where it's really low on this side and real high on this side. So I think by flipping them back and forth um, every few, then it helps. Okay, so here's one page. You want one page here, and then you're gonna rip out, so like this. And then this works good for, and the closer you get to the center, the harder it is to rip them. And if you can get back in here and kind of take a little bit out, that's great. So that's three, four, So there's eight. Then you take this back page and you put it there. You can actually leave an extra page. Um, let's just leave an extra one here. I don't do that that often because usually I just fold this one down or inside that way, but sometimes people want to fold them this way or this way, I think. I'll just leave an extra page there because otherwise you have to put, rip it out if you don't use that page. All right, so I'm not going to rip every page out of here that's left. I just left enough for you to, to see. The other problem I had was you need a book that's got a real strong binding. Um, and I didn't want it too big because I want my digital pages to fit. 
So originally, um, let me find it. Originally, I was gonna use this book that I got at the um, estate sale because I liked the color. I thought that that looked fallish looking, but then when I went to go rip out the pages, they're sewn in and I think they, yeah, they would have come apart. I don't know if you can see how the, but the binding is not even glued in. And then, you know, you rip out where there's a signature sewn in, it's gonna fall out. So I'll probably just gut this book and use it um, uh, for a covered book when I do one. It's a pretty cool book. Um, it was done in 1939. There's only two uh, two listings or two um, published dates. They it was published in 1939 twice, and um, so yeah, it was kind of a cool book. But can't use it. So I'm gonna use this, and we'll, we'll cover. Oh, I was gonna show you. Oops. One second. This video is going to get too long because I can't remember to get everything. So I had found this fabric last year and um, I just thought, oh, this is going to be great for a fall journal cover. But I can't get it the right size right now, but I mean, it's fall, but it's not fall. That's what I liked about it. You know, it's not leaves. So anyway, that that's my thought on that cover. Um, I bought these uh, from Arts Smart Crafts, I think is what it, it is. It's called Dried Flowers. And I thought maybe I'd use some of these in it because I want to do it fall. I kind of feel like I should have put this on sticky paper because I'm never going to be able to cut around that. Um, but I ordered sticky paper, some more from Amazon. Hopefully it's good. This one is from Compass and Ink, this kit. It just kind of went on the rampage. Um, Either it was botanical or fall looking. And so I felt like this is both. I can use these for botanical um, or fall. This one is, uh, what was this called? Um, Forest Wonderland or something. You'll find it if you go to her site. You can't miss it. Um, some postcards, some tags. Look at how cute the little squirrel is in this. And see, this is more botanical than it is fall, but this one is definitely fall. I don't know when mushrooms are, if they're fall or what. But anyway, I just, and I like these because these go in the book. They're, I think they're too big um, when I was printing them out, but I still like them and I could probably cut them down to make a side tuck. And this is one sheet of paper that comes with it. There's two sheets of paper, I don't know what the relationship is to the, I guess it's a background paper or something. Anyways, so, and I'm probably not gonna use all these. I just didn't wanna cut them until I showed them. This one is uh, created by Happiness and Crafting by G. Kerr. And I love these. I love the little rabbit. Um, they're a little bright. So I wasn't really going, I was going more for a muted fall colors. I don't want, you know, bright pumpkin, pumpkins and stuff. So this one is more bright than I anticipated, but you know, I can still probably use it. Journal cards, pockets, belly band. I don't know what these things are. They're just elements I guess you can put in there. There's some leaves. This is her paper, which I love the paper because it's very kind of muted compared to the other one. 
So this is her papers. This is her paper, my shadowing, I'm sorry. This little rabbit. Here's a little squirrel. I love this, love this paper. This is just so pretty. You can use it for anything. I forgot what she calls this. Um, I'm not, I don't know. Didn't write it down. Here's some fall leaves. A little squirrel again. An owl. Bird. I love the bird. And there's another squirrel one because I printed wrong. Okay. So that's all her kit. Which is happiness and crafting. It's called uh, Shades of Autumn, is what it's called. This is the old design shop, and I just these are just uh, postcards, and oh, here's um, printable tags. That I really like those colors in those tags. I, I believe I had print out her papers too. Oh no, these go to this. I lied. This is the old design shop. I love it when they put their names on the on their digitals. Cause then I remember who they are. This one is polka dot pixels. Oops. And this one is the one I love pap the papers too. Uh, I mean, I just I don't know how they're all going to go together, but um, you know, I think they will. At least these will look. Those those go together fine. So there's that page, this page. These are also botanical, you know, they're not just but they look fall to me. Fall botanicals. And then all upside down. I I printed these on coffee dyed paper too. Some are a little darker coffee dyed than others, but yeah, I thought I wanted to do them on coffee dyed. I may not even use it in this journal. I guess it was that one. But I can always reprint them, right? <laughs> Here's a like a ledger sheet, and there's another one, which is kind of too yellow for me, but it's okay. And then here's another design. So that's my plan. Um, after I get those uh, other pages, um, <clears throat> sorry, when I get these pages completely out, then I'll know how many pages that we need to decorate. And I really don't have um, a plan. I think I just don't know if I like this with all this now. So I may have to make another journal. Well, I, I want to make another journal too. Maybe um, just in these fall colors, but not necessarily fall. So I'll have to see what I can find. But yeah, this is, this is pretty. Um, maybe not, no digitals at all. Maybe just uh, using paper, you know, cardstocks and things like that. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks to uh, Tanya at Tattered Treasures and her um, July junket. <laughs> yeah, July junket. I'm using up the old stuff that we have. So it gives you an incentive just to sit there and do it. And that's that's the main thing. And, and that got me uh, finished with my my uh, Pink Lady Journal. So it was well worth it. All right. Thank you so much. And we'll see you soon. Bye.